In this delicious dessert tutorial, we are going to be looking at value and creating value from light to dark. Value is how light and dark a color is. You can see here in my ice cream cone, I go from light to dark. And the background goes from dark to light. We will be using Sketches Pro. And you can see I've already made my ice cream cone right here. I've used a lot of layers, but we will start a new document to work on this together. So click on a new document and it is blank. You can flip your iPad over so it's the tall way. And I think I prefer that so I can make a really tall ice cream cone. You can also keep it the long way in case you want to make um, your ice cream cone a little shorter. So to begin, I'm going to draw a cone. I'll use my pen tool because this makes solid lines. To begin, I'm going to draw a cone and I will use my pen tool because this will make solid lines. And I'll choose a cone-like color. This could be kind of light brown. I think that's fine. Then I'll make sure that my settings are where I want them to be. So a cone can be either a real cone. So if I drew a cone, or draw a circle or an oval and draw my cone coming down. So that looks like a cone. Or you can also draw a flat cone. This would be an oval on top, the lines down, and then a curve on the bottom. I'll add the base sides and another curve. Notice that these lines are curved. That makes it look a little more 3D. If you drew a flat line, it would look like a flat picture. Okay, I'll just erase out the things I don't need and I'll stick with this cone I have on the side here. I'm going to fill this in with some color. I'll use my fill tool that's in my stencil and I can choose any of these fills. I'll just choose that solid line and fill it in my cone. And I know cones have nice lines around them to give it texture, so I'm going to use that dark color, the dark brown, to make some lines in my cone to give it a little more interesting look. Okay, that's good enough. I know there's some white spots, but that's okay. Most of it will actually be covered. So now I'm going to choose a new layer. So in my little layers up top, I'll click on the plus to make a new layer. This will be the first part, the first scoop of my ice cream. This way, the new layer will be right on top or above my cone. Okay, so I have to first pick my color. I can choose the lightest color I have or the darkest. I think I will go with the darkest. So I'm gonna do dark red and have it go all the way to a pink. So I'll draw my little cone and maybe it goes over the ice cream cone a little bit on the bottom. Then I can fill this in and it fills right away. So because I have another layer, it just scoops right on top. Okay, to change my color, I'm actually gonna hold down on the color and move it a little bit so it's a little bit lighter. You can either add a new color or modify. I'm gonna hit add for this first one and I'll start an even newer layer for another scoop. Each scoop will have its own layer. If I go back to my color, hold down on it, modify it, 
modify. Do a new layer. I don't know how many scoops I'll have. That's how many layers I will have. I'm not sure yet. And I think I'll do one more scoop. So add a new layer, change my color, modify, and draw my last scoop. Now I'm gonna add another layer to put a little highlight on each of my pieces of ice cream just to make it look a little bit 3D, just a little bit. I'll, uh, I'll go to the white, white color. I'll choose maybe the marker or the, the pen's fine. My opacity's gonna go down, my pin size's gonna go up, and I'm just gonna add a little highlight. There we go, that was a little highlight. Okay, now I need to go all the way to the bottom and then add a new layer because this new layer has to go all the way under my ice cream cone. This is gonna be my background. Since I chose red as my ice cream cone, I want the background to be contrasting. So I'm gonna make a complementary color. The complementary color is the opposite color. The complementary color of red is green. If you look on a color wheel, you'll see that red and green are across from each other. So I'm gonna choose a dark green in one of my colors and then a light green in the other one. So it goes from dark to light or light to dark. Now I'll go to my fill area and there is some little gradients. There's this two-tone gradient there that if I click, I can choose where I want this gradient to be. So I know my light is first. So once I hold down and then move up, I can make a gradient of my color from light to dark. I am done with my ice cream cone. I can save that, share out, save my image, and it is complete. I have my value ice cream cone.